The woman is suddenly blocked by an invisible wall. This wall is transparent but can be touched and has no boundaries. She tried to drive her car to crash into the wall, but the car was scrapped. At this moment, the invisible wall did not leave any trace. Yesterday, Martina got tired of the life in the city. She met her friends and went on a vacation in the mountains. The convertible car was playing like music. She wore modern clothes and breathed in the fresh air. When they arrived at the cabin, the friends said they had to go to the next village to get something. She's left with a hound. At night, Martina smokes a cigarette while putting on her skincare products. She could stay up late and put on the most expensive mask. I was in VS because of the long journey. She didn't wait for her friends to come home and went to sleep. The next morning, she realized that her friends had not returned home all night. Worried about her friends, she took her hound and went on foot to look for them. Her high heels left deep and shallow traces on the road, but she was only halfway there when she ran into an invisible wall. It was a transparent wall. Martina was confused. She turned around to take the other way out. On that road, she saw a house. There were the old people in front of the house. She was so excited that she ran out to the house but still hit a wall. Her cries for help could not reach the other side. Soon she realized that something was wrong. The two people outside the wall were motionless, like specimens on display. Without exception death took them, Martina was a little desperate, and she was the only one left alive in the valley. On the way back, the hound found a pregnant cow. This gave them a little life support and supplies. Martina tried to use the car to hit the boundary. In the end, the invisible wall was intact, but the car was completely destroyed. She gave in to her fate. She didn't even know if she should die or live. The hound and the cows gave her courage. So Martina began to cultivate the land inside the wall, trying to provide herself with food other than milk. In the middle of nowhere, she was still telling the time every day. This allowed her to remind herself that I was still alone. One rainy night, she found a pregnant cat. From then on, a woman, a dog, a cow and a cat began their life in the mountains. Martina sometimes goes hunting. The first time she touched a hunting rifle, she was not used to it. Looking at the twitching deer in the distance, she felt scared. She stays up all night during thunderstorms. All her senses are heightened when she is alone. She listened to the rain outside and watched the flash of lightning. For the first time, Martina is disgusted with herself as a human being. She hates that she hunts and kills animals. When summer came, Martina would take the hound around the valley. She still wanted to find out where the invisible wall ended. Martina would look into the distance from the top of the mountain. The vast landscape delights her. She would also go to the mountains to cut weeds. But days of rain and unskilled mowing made her work slow. In the fall, the weather slowly cooled down. Martina had a few illnesses, but she watched the animals that were with her survive. Martina saw the first snowfall of winter inside the walls. She lay in bed, listening to the deer outside and couldn't sleep at night. Sometimes she wondered if this was a punishment. To keep her trapped here, Martina lives alone and is strong. To distract herself, she began to write. She wrote down many things on scraps of paper in the cabin. The kitten did not survive the cold winter and frowned to death in the snow. Martina lost a family member. At the same time, she welcomed another family member, a cow who gave birth to a calf. In the summer, she takes her special family and moves to a ranch on top of a mountain. The sky at the top of the mountain was blue and the wind was fresh. She had never been so peaceful and began to feel nature. She no longer felt alone and she no longer clung to time. Martina is like a traveler. Moving through the years, she was in awe of the passage of time and could feel the despair of mankind. Born as a human being, she controls the entire valley. But Martina doesn't want to and doesn't care to do so. Time has moved on and she no longer hopes that people will find her within the walls. She concentrated on raising the animals around her. In winter, she meets a white crow. The white color made it stand out from the other birds. Every day at dusk, Martina goes to feed the white crow. She felt like the bird. In summer, when she returns to the summer pastures, she is not as happy as she used to be. She was so absorbed in her daily hard work that she stopped hiking and exploring the end of the boundary. All she wanted was for herself and her family to live well. One day Martina and the hound were out wandering. The hound suddenly became restless and rushed over a hill. A man was slaughtering her young bull. When the hound went to stop him, it was also cut. Without hesitation, Martina rushes home, takes out her shotgun and shoots the man. She no longer wondered why a man was here. She just resented him for hurting her family. She buried the bull and the hound and threw the man's body off the cliff. Then she sat her day alone for a long time under the night sky. She didn't stop 
but continued to keep and record her life. Until the winter of the third year, she wrote on paper November 5th. Is that the date today? She didn't know and she didn't care. This was the last piece of paper in the house. And this was the end of her record. Martina Saturday alone in the cabin, with a peaceful and serene face. When she got up and looked out the window, she saw the white crow standing quietly on the ground and waiting for her to feed it. Whether Martina comes out of the invisible wall or not is up to the audience's imagination. Many people will find resonance in Martina. They don't want to leave their world and close themselves in tightly. If someone, such as that man on the hill, tries to enter their world, their first reaction is to reject the outsider. Each of us is like a piece of dust floating in the universe, looking small and alone. The atmosphere of the whole film can be a bit depressing, but it awakens people to think about themselves. It is a good film that deserves to be watched many times.